become a loyal student of every opportunity. Mm. Even if there is no opportunity to implement what you've accumulated as a skill or expertise, but always prepare yourself. You never know uh, what may come down the line. We live in a, a, a fast changing world. So opportunities will always present themselves one way or the other. Looking at the fact that in South Africa, there is like less than 2% uh, of uh, property development companies that are actually uh, owned by uh, African people or black people, so to say. When you look at this uh, vicinity of the city, how many uh, properties were developed and owned by African or black people, you find that maybe it's also less than 1% uh, in the same uh, vicinity. So those things always drive me that, you know what, I need to be closer in this space. So um, let me get involved with these people. Even if it's white people, I'll approach them as a sponge that is prepared to absorb the information, the strategies, their side, network with them and so forth. So to learn, you know, every, everything that we do, the approach is just to learn. That is why as I get up, I'm getting closer to you, is to absorb your wisdom, your knowledge, your understanding, you know, become a student uh, under you. That's what we do, you understand? So those are one of the few yeah. things that we always normally do, just to learn and be and be teachable as well. That's what we always, always um, a part of my focus, that, you know what, every day I must learn something across economic cycle, across property sector, uh, credit, money, and all those sort of things. Every day, I need to learn something while sharing what I've learned with other people as well. Yeah. So, interesting, right? Because you speak about learning. Mm. And then on the other hand, you also wrote the book. Yes. So, here you are. You're a student. You're building businesses. You're mm. growing your portfolio. And then at the same time, there's a heart of you that says, I also want to teach. Yes. I also want to write. How did you balance out those two and wh where did it emanate from the book? You know, I'm an avid reader. A lot. I think I've got close to... Uh, I used to read like a maximum of 50 books a year on money and property and business only. Mm. You know? So I always aim to read at least a maximum of 50 books per year. Uh -huh. So I used to be able to do that successfully, uh, but now uh, my my skill has dropped a, a whole lot. But what I can tell you is that um, the more you read, the more you are able to formulate your own principles out of what you are actually absorbing. Because at the end of the day, a book is is more like my idea, my perspective to influence the next person a perspective. So after reading you, the book, you co-create or you recreate your own experience, getting from the principle that stands, but you are also creating your own principles that will guide you in your respective life or standpoint. That's, that's, that's always been my focus. So that's more like getting an energy so that tomorrow you will be able to be more energetic and be able to save people. I always say uh, this is the most important value that you must always um, develop every time. It's more like a supercomputer. So if ever you are not really reading or studying a, a book or anything that will stimulate your mindset, it means you, you, your thinking capacity will remain standstill. That's, 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 that's always the case. And mm -hmm. if you are reading or studying a wrong negative content, that will help you to do um, negative or things that will drive your life down one way or the other. So that has always been my perspective. I focus on consuming business content. It helps you me strategize better and win better even in business. So when it comes to money, I've been reading many authors in money other than what I've studied from school because there's a difference. I've studied finance, but... You studied not, money at school. What school was that? Uh, no. Other than studying from school, I studied yeah. finance, meaning all this financial wealth management. It's different from money. It was money is more like... It's, it's, it's more than paper. Money is spiritual. 
But when you go to school... Can you tell us more about that? Money is spiritual. Right. And then we'll get into why you wrote the book. Okay. Yeah. Money is spiritual in a sense that when you look at an animal, let's say I want to give a cat 200 rand. I can throw 200 rand to a cat. It won't understand. That is money. Because the cat it doesn't have a spirit. It has a soul, not a spirit. All right? So... Um, the second thing I will say, um, money is attracted to this. I always have that idea. Money is attracted to the knowledge you have about it. So I always say money has ears. Money hears you. When you call money, uh, I will always say God. Others I will say universe. But God will align opportunities that will assist you to bring about what you've already envisioned and you've already became become comfortable with it. You cannot have something in your hand, even in your investment account, in your bank account, before you see it there. That is a, a spiritual concept of money. Before I even have a portfolio of investment, I will look at other people who will talk about winning in terms of long-term investment. And I will also, you know, uh, in all I did, there used to be a check. I will take a check and write how much I want to manifest. Thereafter, opportunities will come. I won't sit down and fold hands. I will act and do. You understand? But because I'm, I do not have that money rejection complex that I used to have before, because... I, I used to have a money rejection complex and I understand that the reason why I get paid on the same payday, money is gone. It was beyond just budgeting. It was a spiritual problem. I understood money is evil. You understand? So that's what I had. Uh, I'm, I'm, I was happy because we touched on that uh, point earlier on. So until that transformation happened from within, you create that area space of forgiveness between you and money and let be some unity and peace and good management and friendship between you and money, more money will come your way. Rather, I would say more opportunities to create money will come your way. In South Africa, there's enough money for everyone. 